We actually know that governments alone can't solve all of our problems. We actually need the leadership from civic leaders, from private sector, from nonprofit, as well as from academic and labor. Even students and young people need to be at the table when we're making decisions that are going to affect our future. And that's what we've done at Civic Action on the issue of transportation. It's an issue that touches everyone in all parts of the GTHA. So we really need the, to hear from, from everyone on how to solve that really tough challenge of how do we pay for the long-term infrastructure funding and investments that we need. So we really can't uh, just sit back and wait for governments. In fact, we've been doing doing that for 40 years on this particular issue and not much has been done. So it's time that we get moving and it's really time to act on how we invest in transportation. Well, in fact, we need a, a whole range of choices for people to get around and to get around efficiently in this region. Um, because we haven't invested in our transportation infrastructure since the 70s, we have a lot of catching up to do because our population growth has continued to rise and it will continue to rise. By 2031, we're going to have another 3 million people living in this region, really the size of Greater Montreal. So we have to prepare for that growth and that increase in, uh, in demand for all of our infrastructure. So road capacity is one thing, but we also need to build transit infrastructure as well to give people the option of how to move around. East-West, North-South routes, getting around for work, for where they live and where they want to play. So because we're growing at such a rapid rate, which is actually a good problem to have, our economy will be growing, we have to prepare for that growth by greater investment in our transportation infrastructure. And that includes roads, it includes transit, it even includes cycling, as well as pedestrian paths to ensure that we, we can meet the needs of a growing population in this region. So That's a really important point in terms of how we involve the voices of a range of people on all sides of this issue because it's an issue that actually touches everyone and everyone has to have a say. Also, everyone needs to contribute to solving it because everyone is going to benefit at the end of the day. So it's not just drivers against transit users, it's drivers and transit users and pedestrians and cyclists. So what we have to do is open up that conversation so that everyone has an opportunity to really to say, what are some of the principles or the conditions in which we're willing to dedicate new funding to build out the transportation infrastructure that we want? Uh, what are some of the conditions in which that I would pay more. How much more do I have to pay? For how long? And how do I ensure that the money is going to be dedicated for the projects that are important to me and to my community? These are all important questions and we have to create a forum so that we really hear all sides of the issue. So it's not strictly a government issue or a business issue. It's really an issue that affects everyone in the region equally. <laughs>